North Korea is putting on an aviation display while much of the rest of the world is trying to limit their military capabilities. The country is under UN sanctions for missile and nuclear testing, but that hasn't stopped it maintaining an air force. The two-day International Friendship Air Festival features a US-made Hughes 500 helicopter, bought via a third country in the 1980s. MiG-29 Russian-made fighter jets likely purchased in the 1990s and Chinese copies of older MiG fighter jets. The crowd, made up of thousands of North Koreans and 200 foreigners, loved it. It's been a fantastic day. We've seen the MiG-29, Su-25 and MiG-19 in North Korean colors. It's more than we could have hoped for. Aviation enthusiasts also came to see vintage planes operated by national carrier Air Koryo that are only used domestically. The show was held at the newly refurbished Wasan Airport in an area that's trying to bring in more tourists. We started running the aviation tours to the DPRK in 2012 and ever since then our customers have pushed us to try and arrange something more spectacular um, you know, on, on, in this sort of style as an air show. North Korean airports are high security areas and there are strict rules against photography of military equipment, so this is a massive exception. The North tested a nuclear weapon only a few weeks ago. And after missile testing in January, UN member states are not allowed to supply or sell North Korea with fuel that might be used to power jets. But there is some domestic supply. North Korea's foreign minister spoke at the UN on Friday condemning US military cooperation with South Korea and vowing to strengthen its own nuclear capabilities. But at the air show, there was a far lighter atmosphere with many people enjoying the local brew and singing karaoke. People were particularly excited about what leader Kim Jong-un has dubbed Flowers in the Sky, a formation display from North Korea's first two female pilots. Another first for spectators who couldn't get close enough. Caroline Malone, Al Jazeera.